Welcome to this video. Now we want to understand what we have done in the previous video. We added a few commits and this video should show you or picture you how the process of committing changes is done in Git. Therefore, I have downloaded some pictures from the Git book. You can get from uh, you can get from uh, gitscsm.com slash book. And they have really cool uh, images showing you how a commit is done and how the workflow of committing changes is done. So this is the state we have started. We just had a single file in our working directory. Here it is called file.txt version 1. And since we have not committed anything, there is nothing in the index and nothing in the repository right now. Then we run, we ran a command called git add and git add added this file to the index. And as I said before, you can collect multiple files in the index to have a collection that you can commit to the repository later on. And after this, we finally run the git commit command and this added our file to the repository. And now you can see two new words uh, here uh, shown in the image called head and master. Master is the name of a branch. You can have multiple branches in Git, but the master branch is a default branch you get if you start with Git and initialize a new repository. And the head is something like your eyes. You're already looking at a certain state of your working directory. And per default, the head is pointing to the master branch. So ever, if you do some changes, you commit, commit them, you have the look at the current state of your directory. But no one hinders you from move the head uh, uh, to another commit later on. In another video, we will see how we can move the head to another branch, to another commit or another tag to analyze what we have done, done in, the, in the past to understand how our project evolves over time. You also can put the head on another commit and create another branch uh, from this commit later on. So the head is really something you look at one certain commit and then you decide, oh no, wait a moment, I want to have a look at the other commit because there uh, were some changes uh, that are important to me. So, um, later on in that video, we edited the file and this means that we just made a change in our working directory. And to commit this change to the repository, uh, we need to add this again to the index. And having this done, we finally can commit this change and then uh, we have this uh, change set committed to the repository. And now one important thing happens. Uh, we have this new commit and the commit knows about his parent commit. So the, the new commit already has a reference to the previous commit. And this builds something like a graph later on, or it is, it is a graph right now. And since we know uh, which commit has uh, which parent, we are able to move the head from one commit to another. And so we can go through different commits and we can walk through the graph of the changes of our project. Well, I hope this video helped you a little bit to understand the commit workflow a little bit better and hopefully we, we see us in the next video. By the way, if you still have any question about the video or if you have any further question, please do not hesitate to ask me and leave me a comment below. Thank you.